I was having like a really serious gray hair issue and I finally colored my hair and now there's like a really clear line of where I colored it and then black stains all over my face from the hair dye and on my hands so you guys are gonna have to excuse me but I couldn't film a video with all those grays coming out. Um, today's video I'm gonna be comparing Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel and Coco Mademoiselle Intense. I've talked about doing this video for a while. I've had Coco Mademoiselle since forever. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my signature scents. I love it. It's perfection. I don't know how it can get any better than this. I got the Intense to find out if it can get better. I'll let you guys know if it's worth having both and what the differences are in each. I've worn them both a bunch of times. I've asked my friends what they think of each and I'm here to let you guys know. So Coco Mademoiselle, the original, I'm gonna spray it on my left hand. So I'll do both openings and then I'll compare them. I'm gonna spray Coco Mademoiselle on my other hand. The original, it opens up um, a lot zingier. Like it's got pinchiness to it, you know? It's got that bite from more citrus, it's more watery, it's fresher, it's more sparkling, this one. And the Intense, I prefer the opening of the Intense. It opens up sweeter, it opens up creamier and smoother, richer, sexier, I would say. Um, the opening is absolutely gorgeous. I love it, I love it. Honestly, 100%, I prefer the opening of the Intense. Um, but as they settle, as they settle, uh, I actually start to see more of the beauty of the original Coco Mademoiselle come out and it's just a very sparkling citrus rose with patchouli. It's very elegant, it's timeless. We all know Coco Mademoiselle, we all know the fragrance. It's a classic, it's like in every woman's wardrobe and if it's not, it ought to be. It's just incredible. So I didn't know if you can like perfect perfection and with the intense, Honestly, in the opening, yeah. The opening is way better, but as it dries down, right now it's still the opening, but I remember from wearing it several times, the dry down, it's earthier, it's drier, the patchouli comes out more, and it, it really smells like a little bit like a soil note, like the patchouli has that earthiness, and it really starts to smell um, deep in an earthy way and it's beautiful but it's different and that's in the dry down where you can really see the differences between the two so in the dry down coco mademoiselle honestly for me i don't see it changing too much in the dry down it's like it settles in the dry down and it's less pinchy but it's like all the same notes that play in the beginning play throughout however with the intense the patchouli and that um earthiness really comes out in the dry down so honestly from all of my friends that i've asked i've had a pretty even split on who prefers the original coco mademoiselle and who prefers uh the intense like it's about even but i will say that the intense is much better suited for the colder months like i'm wearing this in the winter it's january now and when i did a side-by-side -side comparison the intense holds up for several hours longer than the original Coco Mademoiselle. That squeaking is Bernie. You may have seen him in another one of my videos. He'll make an appearance. Bernie, come. Come on up. This is Bernie. He likes all the attention. He's gonna join us for a bit. Yeah, so in the colder months, definitely the Coco Mademoiselle Intense does way better than the original Coco Mademoiselle. The Intense holds up at least three hours longer than the Coco Mademoiselle original. This one in the warmer months, like in the spring, in the fall, it does a fantastic job. It, it stays on, on my skin for a whole day, stays on clothing even longer but it does suffer in performance a little bit in the colder months where the Intense does not. So for me, I do absolutely see a point of having both, especially if you're a Chanel fan. Yeah, absolutely, it's worth having both um, because one, the way I see it is amazing for the warmer months and then the other one is perfect in the cold. I don't think I would wear the Intense in the warmer months because that that patchouli, that earthiness, and the, the overall depth of it, it is much deeper and richer and heavier. And I find that Coco Mademoiselle can already sometimes be a little bit headache-inducing, and I think that wearing that 
in the hotter months, it's just gonna become a little bit overwhelming, but I love it for the cold. Like right now, it's absolutely perfect. Whereas I can't really wear the original Coco Mademoiselle in the winter because it just doesn't last. It just doesn't do enough for me. I can wear it through the fall, but in the winter, I can't wear it. Now I have an alternative to reach for in the winter when I wanna smell like Coco Mademoiselle. So that's my take on the comparison of the two. Um, I can't say that I have a preference. I can say I have a preference in the opening. I do prefer the Coco Mademoiselle Intense, but in the dry down, I like them both equally. They're just suited for different occasions. So I honestly can't say that I have a preference to one or the other. I would recommend trying the original Coco Mademoiselle first and seeing how you feel about it and then venturing into the Intense because everybody's everybody has to at least try Coco Mademoiselle. It's it's just one of those fragrances. You just have to. So I hope you enjoyed my take on the two fragrances. Let me know which you prefer. What's your favorite Coco Mademoiselle? Is it the Intense or the Original? Do you think the same that you, you see the Intense working better for the colder months and the Original more for the warmer months? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.